This guy wasn't here for Daisy, so of course I'm gonna gang up on that guy. He's a douchebag. I'm a Daisy, not a bitch. He loves me. He loves me not. It's a super special day. We're officially starting a new series here on the channel. We'll be watching the show Daisy of Love. This aired on VH1 in 2009 when I was in ninth grade. So, you know, an appropriate time to watch. Real quick for those of you that don't know or are new to the channel, in the past I've covered the show Rock of Love with Brett Michaels in its entirety. Feel free to binge all my videos. <laughs> Daisy was a contestant on season two of Rock of Love, but in the end, she didn't win Brett's heart. So they gave her her own dang show, <laughs> and that's what we're gonna watch today. I've seen this show, but it's one of those shows where if you haven't seen it in a while, you're gonna forget most things, or at least I do. <laughs> Let's get into the first episode. Daisy is so beautiful. She's like five feet tall, big fake boobs, blonde hair big lips. She's my perfect girl. Wow, wow, ee, wow, what a group of guys. So I'm standing there seeing this huge black mega stretch limo come up the driveway. Palms are getting sweaty. Yam's getting a little tingly. Your yam? What? And I'm like, oh, my heart's beating 100 miles per hour. I'm like, oh, here she comes. I can't wait. Oh yeah, Ricky Rackman hosts this. <laughs> Hold on a second. Are you guys expecting something a little bit prettier? Friggin' Ricky Rackman. Don't worry, I probably won't call him by his real name for the rest of the series. <laughs> Welcome to Daisy's house. My name is Ricky Rackman. I was the Dean on Charm School. I also hosted the Rock of Love reunion. When I saw Rock of Love 2, I saw a genuine woman that got her heart broken. I'm here to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Randy Ranchman is basically friends with Daisy and he wants to help her find love. I've been a part of the rock scene for like 20 years and I've seen every line that any guy can use on a chick, every dirty little trick. I may have tried some of them myself, but there's no way these guys are gonna get those past me. And they remind us that 12 Pack was on some of the other shows on VH1 in the 2000s. Hey everybody, it's me, 12 Pack. When I was on I Love Money out in Mexico, I got to do a little uh, interview with her. I think Daisy is probably one of the hottest females alive. I came here for Daisy. I came here to find love. So we get to go into the house, and they have it all decked out with the classiest decor, obviously. As soon as we walk into the main area, looks like she's got this whole uh, stage set up. I'm like, what is this? So Daisy puts on this little show for the guys. <laughs> Daisy looks absolutely jaw-dropping, man. I I was pitching a tent, I'm not gonna lie. This dude is all about boners so far. What an entrance. Hello, boy. I've had my heart broken and I've been a heartbreaker and I'm sure you guys have too, but I want to let you guys know that I'm here to find love and I guess I'll see you guys later. <laughs> the guys are gonna go make themselves at home. Not only am I here, but my roommate Brandon's here too. These two are roommates that somehow got to be on the show together. And I doubt that was good for their friendship, but we shall see. <laughs> Let's face it, you're in a house with a bunch of rockers. So something crazy's about to go down. Time to party it up. I just beelined it right for the bar. And I don't even think half these people even came to a room yet, dude. No, they just started drinking around with that. I was feeling pretty damn drunk. I 
Ah, yes, the Swedish triplets. Either I'm really shit-faced beyond belief, or there's really three teased-out, poison-looking motherfuckers standing in front of me right now. All your guys' hair looks like totally identical. They tease it, dude. Wigs. Are they wigs? No, no, no it's not wigs. Are real? They couldn't just give them normal English subtitles. They have like a Swedish flair. This is awesome. We're triplets. We are rock and roll stars back in Sweden. Our band is called Snake of Eden. We're real partyers. Like we like to drink and we're always getting ridiculous and crazy. Okay, he got a raw hot dog. Uh no, don't dip it in salsa. I hated every second of that. They gotta go. <laughs> Time for some drinking. And me and the boys, we're gonna hang out like loose teeth tonight. This is a party mansion right here. <laughs> the only thing we need is bigger Uh oh, loser alert. The guy with a purple and red mohawk, he says the stupidest, most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's like, the guy is just an idiot. He needs to leave. You see how hot Daisy is? Yeah. This guy wasn't here for Daisy, so of course I'm gonna gang up on that guy. He's a douchebag. Leave your drinks in here and follow me inside. Oh yeah, that's why we don't know their names yet. Daisy wants to give them names instead. So what I want to do is give you guys a nickname to show up your personalities. I'm gonna give these guys a nickname based on whatever kind of vibe they're giving me. That's actually such a funny idea. What's your name? My name is Crazy Mike. Crazy Mike, why do they call you Crazy Mike? Ah, cause I'm crazy about you. Oh. And I'm crazy in general. Okay. But. This guy seems a little wacky, huh? I'm thinking either nuts. I really don't like no, you don't have to show your nuts though. I love your hair. I love your lips. Makes me want to do back flips. Oh my gosh! Flipper! You right there are looking like you're gonna be next. Oh yes, London. Be cute. So this guy steps up and I'm like, whoa, totally hot, totally my style. He's even got a little eyeliner on it. I'm like, wow, I like. But yikesy, Mikesy. Oh! Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna call him London. London, London. Because he reminds me of a like London hot punk rocker. I'll take that, I'll take that. That's cool. Now the triplets will be named. Oh my gosh, where are you guys from? Sweden. And you love that. Yeah. I oh I do. What happens if what happens if I'm into one of your brothers though? It's like a Swedish smorgasbord. Oh, that's so creepy with yeah. brothers. <laughs> yep, they're too weird. They're basically here to date me together. It's like buy one, get two free. I'd like to call them 84, 85, and 86. I love because it. that's the last time that it was okay to look like that. Good job, Mickey Mouseman. Nailed it. Hello. You. I'm a singer. I play bass in a band currently. This is a dark rocker guy, and he needs a dark rocker name, so I'm gonna call him Sinister. Woo! Okay, that's Sinister. I sort of remember him, but I also pretty much don't, you know? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Paulie. Paulie? Where are you from? I'm from the coast of New Jersey. Put a bandana and a cowboy hat on that guy, and I'm standing in front of Brett Michaels right now. But that's okay, because that's kind of hot, too. He does look a little bit like Brett. What was the name of Polly Short? Weasel. A weasel. I'm oh, pretty much fucked now, huh? I'm known as Weasel. <laughs> Her name for this guy is spot on. He is a weasel. So <laughs> I'm not going to argue with Weasel. <laughs> weasel. 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 Like, weasel, bud. I can do it, buddy. <laughs> Poor Daisy's like, this is so hard. You have to, like, think of all these names. Hi. How are you? Good, and you? His hair looked like it was on fire. Torch? Okay. <laughs> You're in college right now? No, I've taken a break. Dropout. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Dropout seems like he knows how to party. I'm a high school teacher. Professor. I'm a gym manager. Let me see your guns. <laughs> Flex. Oh, wow. Yay! Yes. I like that. I would love to fall in love with with her, Aww, she's so beautiful, and you. I was hoping not to get like a name like Snuggle Fabric Softener or something. I'm gonna call you Chi Chi. <laughs> Randall named him Titties in Spanish. This poor guy. I really don't like that because that means titties in Spanish. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Chi And is this just me, or can you not stand anything about this guy so far? Why does his dancing look so gross? Big, strong, sexy, bulging muscles everywhere. Definitely cute. 
definitely got a lot of potential. I'm thinking toolbox. Okay, toolbox. Perfect name, Tiki. A few more people are given their names. Brooklyn. Hats off to you. So I'm a cable technician and a DJ by trade. I'm thinking cable guys. Oh, <laughs> bro, dumb. I, I, I drive, I drive uh, 18 wheelers and stuff. So big rig, big rig. Big rig. Big That's what's up. And then for some reason, Blippi asks this guy quite a personal question. Are there any other places that you've got piercings? <gasps> oh yeah. Do you have it? Uh, Do you really have it? Is it a no. Prince Albert? Prince Albert. Six gauge. Six gauge, no! A six gauge? A six gauge is basically the size of my thumb. Can you show me what that might no. be? I gotta call him six gauge. And we have this Johnny Depp wannabe. You're fucking gorgeous. Thank Amazing. You. Hottie hotness in front of me right now. I would like to call you Fox because you are a fucking stone cold fox. A fighter. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, it's a tattoo. Oh, don't, why are you like, about it. It's like, that's the first thing everyone questions me about. Dude, it says fight or die on your neck. <laughs> okay? Cage. <laughs> and of course, 12 pack. I can't believe 12 packs here. Like, I met him in Mexico for I Love Money. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Daisy, and I'm here with the lovely Mr. 12 pack. And I don't know, there was a little chemistry there, but he hooked up with Heather. Oh, hey. That's her. Whoa, 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 okay. So I haven't seen I Love Money yet. That's what we're gonna do in the future. But 12 pack banged Heather? Oh my gosh. She tried to kick my ass at the reunion show. 12 pack has got a long way to go before he earns my trust. Do you got a 12 pack? Okay. They all go out to the backyard to party and chat. You know, hey. Sorry, guys. But, uh, What's me happening? and Cable Guy, we just need to interrupt What's real quick. What's going on? Got guys here that are just storming her like a bunch of horny dogs or something that haven't got laid in a couple months. She talks to Cage, and he seems like a decent person so far. These are, uh, these are family members that died. Cage is a totally interesting person. If you saw him in the alley, you'd probably run, but he seems really sensitive, and he just needs a hug. The triplets, they're all 80s and glam. They look like girls, but they're men. They're kind of cute, though. I'll take them home. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, dropout, all right, I, I see you. He's kind of funny, I don't know. And the triplets are just there to hang out and eat raw hot dogs. It's here for fun time and get free booze and... I know you keep on grabbing all the free food. Oh wait, are you guys just here because now you go, you go, let's go here because there's lots of free food. We're gonna get as much food and booze as we can and then we're done, right? Fox is just kind of talking out his ass. You're Daisy. You're the epitome, you're, you're the, the name, name of Daisy. Daisy. When, when I, I think of the name, name Daisy, Daisy you, you are Daisy. Daisy. You know, your name is who you are. I really don't know what he's talking about exactly, but it doesn't really matter because he's really hot. They make out, but thankfully, unlike Rock of Love's like 35 second long <laughs> make out scenes, these ones are only like two seconds, so. Sinister spills the beans about this fucking weirdo. So me and Chi Chi pulled Ricky aside. Have you guys noticed anything interesting that we can tell Daisy about? Yeah, yes. tell me. Yeah. The dude with the cotton candy mohawk or whatever, as soon as we were partying together and stuff and all hanging out, he was already like, all we need is some bitches and all this shit. I'm a Daisy, not a bitch. Daisy calls him out about it and he's just like, it is what it is. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I do what I do. But if any guy ever talks to me like that and called me a bitch, his ass is fucking gone for sure because I am not that kind of girl that you can talk to like that. Aw, oh, heck no. <laughs> I'm the girl that calls the shots. I hope what I said doesn't ruin my chances with Daisy. I might be that loser, man, that walked in the house full of confidence and now, wow, I might be going home. My guy, that's not confidence. That's called cockiness and there's a huge difference. Now Daisy's gonna talk to Torch, who's an instrument. Uh, an interesting character. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? <sighs> <sighs> hmm. I spent me, one from Canada. And? He doesn't say much of anything. <laughs> Except in dolphin noises, apparently. <laughs> Look at you. What's up with him? I automatically think this guy's totally drunk. Are you Swahili? Well, no, but you know what? Throw a Coke bottle in my head. That guy's an alien. I don't trust him. <laughs>
I'm sorry, but Flipper, aka Crazy Mike, looks like a crackhead. What's up, guys? Sorry to bother you, but I've been trying to get your attention all day, and it's hard with these 19 perverts. So check it. You're gonna watch me. Oh, crap. Oh, my God, what is he freaking doing? I have no idea. He's like, you're gonna watch me die. Here we go. This is for you, babe. Oh my god, the pole was like two feet deep. <laughs> that could have been catastrophic. Oh my god, that's why I called you Flipper. <laughs> now you made me all wet. That's, that's what I do. Dang, Mustang, calm down. <laughs> wow. This is where it gets a little bit blurry for me. London is sloshed, so he's puking. Meanwhile, Daisy is not impressed with this dropout dude. Flex and Professor, they seem pretty cute. Dropout, it's kind of pale, it's kind of goofy. My name's Tristan. Trisket? If, if I meet you in a club and I go, my name's like Tristan. Like a cracker, I love them. It's like I like Trisket. Cheese. But dropout is trying so hard to be cool that he is uncool. I think they're pretty good. Daisy's gonna talk to the triplets. What happens if I started to like you? Does that does that automatically mean that you guys always? You're gonna to like come? us too. As much as I think the triplets are great, there's three of them, and there's only one of me. Now she talks to Twelve back, and he wants to prove he's really here for Daisy. The first second I saw you on Rock Love when you were talking to Brett in the VIP with your little hat, whatever you had on. <laughs> I hit you up on MySpace. That's true. <laughs> and then I heard that you were getting a show or whatever so I can come compete for you. I went out of my way to be here. Seems all right, but something seems off about him. Either you're at the top of the food chain or you're at the bottom. I'm going straight to the top, but some of these other guys, see you. That's all you get. 12 pack has some game, but I'm a player too, and it's gonna take more than just some smooth talk to win me over. Then Ralphio Macchio makes sure Daisy talks to everyone. Just like Torch, I could not understand one word this crazy guy was saying. What's up, Daisy? What's going on? Are you doing okay? No, I'm not. What's wrong with you? Got me a little bagged up. Then she goes to find London because he's the last one to talk to. Where are you? London calling. He's asleep and on the floor. Finally, I find London. Passed out on the floor like a friggin' crime scene. So he missed his chance to talk to her before elimination time. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. I'm still feeling dizzy, having some issues. Boys. Dumbass. Oh, here we go. Daisy's getting rid of guys right now. Unfortunately, I think there's actually some people that can go right now. Those guys are gonna be... The triplets. Oh, the triplets. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I really think you guys are really, really awesome and you're adorable. But right now in my life, I'm sort of looking for something different, and that's love. And let's face it, sharing them, ew. They leave happy and with fucking trays full of food. I had a fun time. Yeah. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. Free stuff, free beers, free, beers, free, free food. food, fun time. Do not that feast, Daisy. Kind of amazing, honestly. I feel pretty safe, pretty on top of the world. It's like I'm here to rock the house another night. Two seconds later. I can't believe he's this fucked up. I can't believe he's this drunk either. Weasel, wake your ass up. So he gets the good old childhood sleepover treatment and he gets to go to elimination like that. <laughs> Weasel, what's going on with your face? Boy, what's up, man? Well, you didn't look in a mirror before you came out here? Not at all. Daisy's got to send two more guys home right now. But first, she's going to keep Fox, Flex, and Six Gauge. Well, duh, she wants to see what the Six Gauge truly looks like. <laughs> I was afraid he was going to hang it from somewhere else. <laughs> Chi Chi, Sinister, and Big Greg also get to stay. These names are great. There's still some bizarre questions that I have about this person, but there's something I find kind of cute and charming. Flipper. 
I give it a 0. 0.0. She makes some more selections. Pull back. I got my chain, made it through the first night, so game on. Cage. Oh, yeah. Professor, cable guy. Brooklyn. Toolbox. I don't know why she lets this douche stay, but okay. I would like to give you more time to prove me wrong. I don't ever want to hear Daisy referred to as one of the bitches. Thank you, Ricky. Why did I let him stay? I don't know, he's really freaking hot. Can you blame me? So now I have four guys and two chains. Two chains. When I first saw you, you looked like you were really an awesome person, but I don't know, you're just maybe a little bit too goofy for me. Uh -huh. And to be honest, drop out. I'm really sorry, but it's time for you to drop out. So strange. I need a man who's sexy and hot and bad. And he just seems like I don't know, a cartoon character. I try to dance for her and like. That's all I try to do. And I'm a goofball for that. Now it's down to three guys and only two can stay. Weasel, you seem to have been more in love with the bottle than you were with me. London, I was very, very, very extremely attracted to. Unfortunately, I found you, you like in a crime scene, drunk, passed out. Torch, you have a great style. You're making some dolphin noises like <laughs> Weasel? Can you please step down here? Wow, so Weasel actually gets to stay? You did apologize to me, and you actually did try to make an effort to talk to me, unlike some people who just didn't make an effort to talk to me at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give you another chance. Torch, can you please come down here? I'm really sorry to say, but you just didn't light my fire. She sends home Torch the alien. I hope she names her heart, because the torch still burning for her. Which means London will be staying, probably because he's cute. Oh, I just want to let you know that the only rock star that's allowed to be laying on the floor, drunk and passed out is me, so you need to take care of me if that situation occurs. So if you would like, because I would definitely like for you to stay in this house and be my rock Awesome. I think Daisy did a good job with her choices. I'm definitely going to make the most of my second chance. A lot of times first impressions are, are the final impressions. So I'm definitely going to be, you know, taking it up a notch. Thank you guys so much. We're going to have a great time, and I got some gifts for you. Oh, my gosh. They're going to do a special cheers with flasks, just like they did with the Brett's Brews cheers for Rock of Love. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Propose a toast to Daisy. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah, and one more thing, guys. Don't be stupid. Thanks so much for watching. Links to my social media and Patreon are in the description. On to the next episode of Daisy of Love. Let's go. Later, taters.